Several EU leaders, trade union and business representatives were in Brussels Monday morning to discuss the social crisis. Commission President José Manuel Barroso called for the financial sector to be more accountable to society. Some of the behaviour that we have seen in the financial sector was completely responsible. Sometimes, I think we should use the word, was of criminal nature. That is why we now need a comprehensive response that is solid, that is serious, and that shows our people that we've got the message. A global protest movement against the financial system, austerity measures and corporate greed occurred this weekend. Even the Polish presidency cited the movement during the press conference of the summit. Workers and employers' representatives agreed on the need to rescue the Eurozone to create jobs. We fear that the situation could get out of hand, bringing recession, bringing depression, with all the misery that are linked to these two um, uh, developments, links for workers, uh, unemployment and, and their families. The pressure is now on the full meeting of EU leaders at the European Council scheduled for October 23rd to save the Eurozone and the future of 5.5 million young jobless Europeans. The President of the European Commission says those who caused the meltdown of the financial market should be punished. Josie Manuel Barroso made the comment at the social summit, but some MEPs doubt the EU has the power, while progress on stricter market regulation has been slow. If you keep the casino open and then you threaten those who go to the casino to be sued, I mean, I find something odd in that. I would rather close down the casino. The leader of Ukraine's opposition has been at the European Parliament to talk about the association and free trade agreements due to be signed this week when his country's president comes to Brussels. He's confident of progress despite the jailing of Yulia Tymoshenko. And I strongly believe that Yulia Tymoshenko is to be released and it's urgent and it's important. Uh, these two agreements uh, can guarantee uh, a European future uh, for Ukraine and also the, uh, uh, be a guarantee for the rule of law in Ukraine. Fifteen MEPs will form part of the EU observer mission at elections in Tunisia. Others are helping Tunisians in Europe to vote, but many of those involved in the Arab Spring fear the elections have been rushed and that could help Islamic extremists to win. The risks are high, the risks are high, but not to do that was also a risk. So I really cross the figure.